Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to create migration files and use those migration files to create a database table in Laravel. Right. To create a migration table, uh, to create a migration file, first of course you have to come up with your database table name. Now in this case, I'm going to call my table name courses, and then I'm going to run a command over here: PHP artisan make migration. And then here we have to say create and the table name you want to create. So the table name I want to create is courses and then I'm gonna write table. So over here it's more like creating a table name is courses like that, okay? So and after that I'm going to hit enter. Now here it says that it created successfully a migration table or migration file actually. Now we can find it inside database migrations folder so in general, it's the last one. So over here, we see that, okay, it has created a migration class over here. And inside this, we have a app method and we have the courses name. Now this courses would be our database table name. Of course, we don't have the table yet. So next, we wanna run the command to create actually a table in our database. So over here, I'm going to do php artisan migrate. Now here it says that, well, it did the migrate, which means that it actually generated a table. Now we'll confirm that a table named courses has been created. It will have ID and time step. So here is my database learning, you learning app. And over here we do see that, okay, there is a table named courses. And then I'm going to look at the table fields by, cl create, uh, by clicking on this. So I'm going to look at them. Now over here, now I'm going to, now over here i'm going to look at the fields of this table using alter table over here now anyway here i do see that id created and updated at of course these are not enough so i want to edit my uh database but now so i want to edit my database one thing you could do you could directly edit it over here or you could edit your migration files which is better way to do that and you can maintain your application better with migration files now, the first thing I want to do over here, I want to roll back the table, which means that I don't want the table to be there. So I want to destroy it. And then I want to add it some fields or add some fields and then run the migrations one more time. So over here, I'm going to do PHP artisan migrate roll back. So with this in general, it would roll back, which means that destroy the last table that's been created in our database so i'm going to run it over here and it says the rolling back migrations now i'm going to come over here and then i'm going to refresh my database and after refreshing my database yes well i do see that it's gone from here so there is no table called courses as courses now i'm going to edit my migration tables over migration file over here so i want to add more fields so I have added some extra fields like user token, name, thumbnail, video, description, type, ID, like that. So now I'm going to run the command one more time, php artisan migrate, and that's it. Now it, here it says that, okay, it has created a table named courses. Now I'm going to check it on my MySQL workbench. Well, I don't say it here, but I could refresh the database. And over here, I do see that I have a uh, uh, table name courses and I do see that all these fields over here but of course if you want to get a better look you can come over here and see that okay all these fields are over here the way the way that I wanted to create so the idea is if you want to edit your migration files or if you want to edit your database table you can roll back and then after doing the ad addition or editing you can just simply run php artisan migrate and you're good to go Thank you.